On the Nakatsu River, sitting on the border of Niigata and Nagano prefectures, Kazuyuki Yamada is the area's last remaining shokuryoshi. The pure waters of the Nakatsu are the lifeblood of a small hamlet known as Akiyamago and have provided white spotted char to professional wet fly anglers for at least four centuries. Using a wet fly tied in his fingers and fishing in the shadow of Mount Naebe, Yamada-san ties a nylon tippet to his handmade horsehair casting line. Like his father Shigeo Yamada, he catches just enough fish to serve his guests at the small guest house Yuzanso. In the earliest generations, the Shikuryoshi's role would be to feed the village and lay down enough salted fish to see people through the harsh winters. The fly fishing method became known as Tenkara. Yamada-san is entering his 70s now and still prepares meals in the guest house kitchen, just as his father did. Almost every plate is filled with locally foraged mountain plants, mushrooms and fish. But because Yamada-san is the youngest Akiyamago resident, it's likely that this hamlet will become another abandoned ghost village in 10 to 15 years time. Fish farming, hydroelectric dams and recreational catch and kill fishing pressure have all contributed to the disappearance of the Shikuryoshi. From the 1960s, Tenkara began to shift from a means of survival into a pastime. That transition has brought hope for wild fish stocks. Unlike most recreational angling in Japan, the leading modern Tenkara anglers strongly promote catch and release. Because so much of Japanese sport fishing involves taking fish to eat, there is a strong culture of farming and stocking fish. But the homogenization of unique wild strains of fish by fertile stockfish worries some leading Tenkara anglers, such as Yoshiyuki Mushu. Since 1997, Shoichi Saito led a local cooperative and volunteer-based initiative in Itashiro to counter that worrying trend. As well as introducing no-kill areas, Saito-san began to restore spawning habitat so that fish could breed naturally. The stocking of farm fish in those areas was also stopped. This work was featured in the Wild Trout Trust magazine Salmo Trutter and Saito-san was delighted that organisations exist to help people undertake projects like his own. While it is still rare in Japan, other catch and release initiatives such as Ueno Village Fisheries Cooperative prove it is possible. Perhaps the most encouraging observation is that Tenkara, once the definition of catch and kill fishing, is now one of the strongest agents for a move towards habitat management and away from stocking and catching for the table. <laughs>